Welcome back to the cocktail vlog. I'm Steve the bartender. The team behind this naked blended malt whiskey asked me to put together five naked sours, which coincides perfectly with five for 500K. The Naked Blended Malt Whiskey is a blend of some of the best single malts finished in Naked First Fill Sherry Cask. This finishing process creates a rich and fruity whiskey with great versatility. I'm going to show you five Naked Sours from simple to intermediate to display the mixability of this whiskey, but to be honest, even the intermediate recipes are only involve a little bit of planning ahead. On the nose, it exhibits notes of stone fruit and hints of cherry. But on the palate, it showcases sherry, sultanas, and custard with a very subtle hint of smoke on the tail end. These tasting notes have been utilized to create five recipes, amplifying those flavors within a sour format. So let's get started on our first recipe, which is the Naked Apricot Sour. This one calls for 45 ml, 1.5 ounces of Naked Blended Malt Whiskey. Then 22.5 ml, three quarter ounce of apricot brandy liqueur. And the same measurement, 22.5 ml, three quarter ounce of freshly squeezed lemon juice. And 7.5, one quarter ounce of simple syrup. That's a one-to-one -one simple. and just half an egg white, about 15 mil, half an ounce. Now, of course, we've got the egg white, so don't forget to dry shake. Plenty of ice and give it a shake. Of course, don't forget to chew your glass beforehand. It's not even that glass. Now this one's strained over fresh ice into an old fashioned glass or a, a tulip or a stemless, stemless wine. Fine strain over the top. and I'm garnishing with a twist of lemon. They have an apricot sour. Cheers. Beautiful apricot flavor. Works really well with the stone fruit notes of the whiskey. Next, I have a naked cherry sour. This one calls for 60 ml, two ounces of naked blended malt whiskey. Add that straight into your shaker tin and follow that up with Luxato Maraschino liqueur, seven and a half ml, one quarter ounce, and fresh lemon juice, 22.5 ml, three quarter ounce. and 15 ml, half an ounce of simple, simple syrup. 15 ml, half an ounce of egg white. And you can add cherry juice, but I'm gonna add cherry syrup from the, the Luxardo cherries. Just a bar spoon. Dry shake before adding ice and wet shaking. So I've got my glass chilling as well. Make sure you add plenty of ice and give it a quick shake. And I'm straining into one of my new chilled coupe glasses. And then finish it off with 
three dashes of Peshaw's bitters. Three drops. They have a naked cherry sour. Cheers. That's rich, vibrant, and I love those cherry notes. Next, I'm making a naked Monty Sour, and I'm using a Fino Sherry. So the naked blended malt whiskey is finished in an Oloroso Sherry barrel. So those fruity kind of characteristics and that Sherry finish should be complemented with the Fino Sherry that I'm using. You can, of course, use an Oloroso Sherry as well. So I'm measuring out 60 mil, two ounces of your naked blended malt whiskey. Straight into the tin. Followed by Mara Montenegro, Amaro, bittersweet liqueur. 22.5 mil, three quarter ounce. And then 15 mil of your choice of sherry, preferably a dry sherry, Fino, Oloroso. Half an ounce. Then fresh lemon juice, 22.5 mil, three quarter ounce. And 10 mil, third of an ounce of simple syrup. And last ingredient to add a little bit of texture, 15 mil, half an ounce of egg white, and of course, if you'd prefer to go vegan, then you can always go aquafaba, which is chickpea juice, and it will still give that really nice texture to the drink. Dry shape. Add ice. And give it a second shake. This one gets strained in a double old fashion over fresh ice. And it's simply garnished with an orange wheel and a maraschino cherry, which I think suits the Amara Montenegro very well. Cheers. Delicious, I like the way the Montenegro comes through, but then you've got a little bit of a dry finish from the sherry that complements that whiskey. And next up, I've got an exotic sour, which is a little bit reminiscent of a daiquiri, so I'm not gonna add any egg white to this one. So 45 mil, 1.5 ounces of naked blended malt whiskey. Then I'm adding a few tropical flavors. So 15 mil, half an ounce of banana liqueur. I'm using Giffords. And then 15 mil, half an ounce of an pineapple oleo saccharum, which is simply uh, pineapple pieces with part of the rind still on, so I'm, I'm not wasting any of the pineapple. And then added sugar into it and left it in a bag and let the sugar extract the juice and the oils of the pineapple. So it ends up being just a pineapple syrup. 15 mil, half an ounce. And because it's tropical flavors, I'm using lime juice instead of lemon. 22.5 mil, three quarter ounce. Lots of ice and give it a shake. Of course, it's being served into a chilled coupe glass. This, this glass has a little bit of a higher volume compared to the drink, so it might fall up a little bit short. Or it may be perfect. And I'm garnishing with a candied pineapple wheel. 
they have the exotic sour. Cheers. The pine, lime, and banana combination works very well together, and it still has a beautiful texture from that pineapple oleosaccharum, so I don't think you need the egg white. And onto the last cocktail, the smoky honey sour. This one is gonna be delicious, and as I said before, intermediate, it's only because we've got a smoked cocktail, so there's many different ways you can smoke cocktail, but I feel this is a very easy way to be able to replicate it at home without a handheld smoker gun. This cocktail is going to call for 60 ml, two ounces of naked blended malt whiskey, Twenty-two point five mil, three quarter ounce of honey liqueur. I'm using a Lithuanian honey liqueur called Krupnikus, and I hope that's how you pronounce it. Then that's followed with twenty-two point five mil, three quarter ounce of fresh lemon juice, and I want to add just a little bit more sugar to that. Seven point five mil, one quarter ounce of simple syrup. and 15 ml, half an ounce of egg white. I'm gonna start by dry shaking this. And before wet shaking, I'm gonna start the smoking process. So I'm using apple wood chips. These go give off a really nice fruity smoke. And of course, make sure you don't do this on your kitchen bench top. This is a stainless bench. So ignite the wood chips. If you prefer, you can make your drink and use a cloche to cover it and enclose that smoke. But I find this is a really simple way to do it. While it's still lit, cover with your glass. The flame will be extinguished and there'll be a lot of smoke in there. Keep in mind, it does warm up your glass doing it this way, just a little bit. So add ice to your shaker and finish shaking. Then strain the cocktail into that glass and top it up with ice. I'm garnishing with a honeycomb piece. Otherwise you can always garnish with a twist of orange. This one you might see some familiar flavors. It's kind of reminiscent of a penicillin, which just doesn't have that ginger spiciness to it. They have a smoky honey sour. Cheers. Just the right amount of smoke that complements that whiskey. So there you have five naked sours, the naked apricot sour, naked cherry sour, the naked Monty sour, the exotic sour, and the smoky honey sour. Now let me know how you prefer to get naked and which one would be your preferred cocktail. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe, and I'll see you soon for another cocktail video. Cheers. Garnishing with dehydr dehydrated wheel of pineapple. Wheel? Garnishing with a, and I'm garnishing with a candied pineapple wheel. And I'm garnishing with a candied pineapple wheel. Doesn't really work. And I'm garnishing with a candied pineapple wheel. Well. And I'm garnishing with a pineapple. <laughs> and I'm garnishing with.